Hello Cancer and welcome to your messages from the universe video. Cancer, we are going to look at some tarot cards and also some oracle cards to deliver the messages that I hear for you. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because by doing so you are going to get a much deeper and fuller reading. Cancer, also subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as I release videos every single day for you. I want to remind you also that these videos are generalized, so take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't, as that will resonate with someone else who is watching these videos. So let's get started and see what is going on for you here. Well, Cancer, we can see that you are kicking off this reading as the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the energy that speaks about really having clarity of your speech. So this week, you're going to see that when you speak, your words are going to land beautifully. So if you've got any presentations, if you've got anything that requires speech, even if it is a written word, deploy this energy because... People are going to really understand what you're saying. The swords are about not only communication, they speak also about justice. They speak also about our ideas and challenges. So if there's any challenges that you're going through right now and you need to communicate these to friends, family, maybe work, school, people hearing what you're saying, they're going to understand. They're going to have sympathy for you. So I would say, if there's anything that you need to get off your chest, do so now. Because this energy is beautiful for communication. We're seeing that not only is communication powerful for you this week, also your inspiration is going to be powerful. We're seeing that your fire element is going to be on fire. You're feeling confident. You're feeling inspired. You're feeling ambitious. So, not only do you speak beautifully, you also have passion behind your message. So whatever messages you need to get out this week, do so. Because people are going to listen People are going to be moved. People are going to be inspired because you are going to be speaking words that are going to be uplifting, upbuilding, or words that are going to see other people being inspired to uplift you, to build you. Because people are going to understand that you are working as a team. You are in this together. By you winning, they are winning too. By you being supported, you can support them too. This is a beautiful energy of collaboration. This is a beautiful energy of give and take. So, for instance, let's say you're going and asking for help. As you're asking for help, you're inspiring the person you're asking for help from by telling them, this is what I'll do for you. You are supporting me and I appreciate that. And I'm going to show my appreciation by doing X, Y, Z. Or I want to show my appreciation. So how can I help you? And the other person could be surprised. Because rarely do people ever come for help and also offer help to the person they're asking help from. Let me explain. So someone comes to me and say, hey, I need help with, I don't know, some money, for instance. I'm really short of money and I would appreciate it if you can help me. I understand that you work for yourself and you're really busy. So how can I help you? And I could be like, oh, wow, you know, video editing. Are you any good at that? And they could be like, yeah, I know how to do some video editing. And I'll be like, okay, I'm really behind with my YouTube videos at the moment. Can you edit them for me? It's really simple. It's just the beginning and the end, the intro and the outro. Can you do that for me? And the person could be like, yeah, I can do that. Or I could be saying to them, 
you know, at the weekends, I need to catch up with some work. Would you mind babysitting for me and taking the kids out to the park? And the person could be like, yeah, that's easy. And then in turn, because someone has realized that they can do something for me, I could then be inspired to say, hey, you know that money that I'm lending you? I don't really need it right now, so just keep it. Let's, let's call it bartering. You're looking after the kids for me, taking them to the park, playing with them. And by doing so, I'm able to work and I'm able to do other things that I usually can't do when the kids are around. So I'm going to show my appreciation to you by letting you keep the money. So do you understand how this energy works? You're understanding that you are a team. You're understanding that even though you might need help, you're not completely useless. You're not a burden on anyone else. You have capabilities that you can offer. You have talents that you can offer and the other person is going to be really appreciating you offering rather than just coming and saying, hey, I need help. Poor me. So employ these energies. The divine is really asking, asking us all to start understanding how we can collaborate with each other, how we can create that energy of win-win situations, how we can remove money, for instance, out of the equation and replace it by bartering. That is way more valuable, right? So the divine really wants you to employ this energy of creating a win-win situation for people you're dealing with. And this is going to create stronger bonds. This is going to create love, appreciation, and all that feelings of humanity. When you see yourself being valued and not being a burden because you're asking for help, you're asking for support or money. When you see yourself as being valuable, you feel uplifted. The other person feels gratitude because you're helping them out. And together, you're creating a win-win situation. So, Cancer, this is where the message is from the divine to see how you can really start deploying these types of energies in your life. Sometimes it feels silly that people will think, oh, bartering is a good way of, of asking for help and also offering something in return. Because you're saying to the other person, I don't want to feel like a burden. I don't know when I'm going to get the money to pay you back. But I can do this for you. And then the other person could see that you are a valuable person to have around. Because like they say, all that glitters is not gold. So this card is coming in to say that you might feel that you're not valuable. You might feel that you're glitter and you've got nothing to offer. But actually... What you have to offer in terms of helping someone else, in terms of offering your services to someone else in exchange, that is worth its weight in gold. So don't devalue yourself. You are not glitter. You are gold. So see how you can bring this vibration of being gold, of being valuable, instead of feeling like I am poor, I haven't got, poor old me. Luck is not currently on my side. No, the challenge is to see how you can turn your lemons into lemonade and win. All of us can win. We just, start need, we just need to start moving our perception around money, moving our perception around value and seeing that we are all valuable. We all can do something that someone else sees as valuable, that someone else sees as gold. So yes, not all that, all that glitters is not gold. But you, as we can see you there, you are shining bright. You have so much to offer. So lift yourself up, lift other people up around you. So this could be you perhaps noticing that a friend, noticing that a family member or someone is struggling currently and they might just be too proud to come and ask for help. So you could be going and saying to them, hey, I need help. So you are taking your ego away from things. You are employing humility. 
So you are being humble yourself and going to someone who actually needs help, but they're still in that energy of being egotistic and you could be saying, hey, I am behind with my work at the moment. I know that you're good at X, Y, Z. If I pay you this much money, could you help me? And then the other person will be like, yes, I can. So again, you don't have to wait for someone to come and ask you for help. You could see yourself how you could bring value to other people's lives. So this card is saying this energy of bringing value to other people's lives, to bringing brightness to other people's life is the energy that not only you, but all of us should start employing. More and more of us are gonna start deploying this energy of value through exchange of talents, of skills, because we are starting to realize this is where value is. As you're going to see, currencies losing their value over the next couple of months and years. We're going to be relying on our own skills. We're going to, go, we're going to rely on our own abilities to bring in value and exchange our services for this and that, for food, for this and that, right? So this is that stage as you're hearing this message, this is that stage of initiation, this is that rite of passage, and as you perhaps look back on this video a year from now, you're gonna be thinking, oh yes, I can see now how I created so much abundance in my life by deploying the energy of collaboration, the energy of bartering, of bringing value, of turning glitter into gold. So, we have our next card, which is reminding you that you are not alone. Your ancient ancestors, they stand by you. They are right there with you. So as things start to feel heavy, as life starts to feel burdensome, really start connecting with them, start relying on them to see how they can help you, to ask for help, to listen, for the intuitive messages that are coming up. So maybe intuitively, you are the one who goes and offers someone help. And as you offer them help, they could break down and cry and say, hey, I really needed this. And I really appreciate that you came in a way that wasn't humiliating to me. You came in a way that you offered money for my services or we bartered and now both of us are winning. So you are not alone and also other people are not alone. Sometimes we need you, Cancer, to be our earth angel, to bring in this energy, this angelic energy that's going to be really be needed as we are transitioning out of the age of Pisces onto the age of Aquarius. We're going to see ourselves start working with each other in harmony, not out of profit or out of greed. So start really deploying this energy and you're gonna see how you're gonna start winning. The divine is saying, mark my word on this. So the next card that we have is, is telling you to expect a miracle. So this card is saying that have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So, your prayers have been answered. Whatever it is that you need, the divine have heard you and they are working on something coming to you. So, Cancer, this is the reading that I have. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video and it's a goodbye from me.